watching CBS 2 News in high definition. Right now at 11, a six-figure salary in this slow economy. The hiring frenzy in our area, what you can do to start getting paid. Then it is the night before the first day of school and thousands of parents scramble to find transportation for their children. A judge's order that has angered an entire community. But first, the imam behind the controversial mosque plan near Ground Zero breaks his silence. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Raggy. And I'm Christine Johnson. After months of keeping quiet, Faisal Abdul Rauf is now responding to criticism about the proposed Islamic community center and mosque near Ground Zero. In a New York Times op-ed article, he writes about funding for the project and healing relations, uh, excuse me, relations between religion. CBS 2's Sean Hennessy is live at Ground Zero with more on the imam as he breaks his silence. Sean? Yeah, Chris, just back from a good world tour overseas, the imam didn't waste any time in telling one and all why this mosque should be just two blocks away from where we are now, ground zero, among some of the reasons that he has the support of the community and support at all levels of the government. A slight reference, of course, to President Obama. Also, as he tried to reach his hand across the aisle to families of 9-11, that hand was slapped back. We say no to racist fear. After weeks of anger and angst over what is supposed to be a place of religious peace, we're hearing for the first time from the spiritual leader who thinks it is appropriate to put a place dedicated to the Muslim religion two blocks away from the very place so many were killed by Muslims. Let us commemorate the anniversary of 9-11 by pausing to reflect and meditate and tone down the vitriol and rhetoric, writes Imam Faisal Abdul Rauf in an op-ed for tomorrow's New York Times, adding, I am very sensitive to the feelings of the families of victims of 9-11. Do you believe that he understands the pain of 9-11 families? No, you can't, unless you have lost a loved one, a son or a daughter. You won't understand that pain. Jim Riches lost his firefighter son on 9-11 and was insulted by the op-ed written by Rauf, who also writes, Muslims and members of all faiths must work together if we are ever going to succeed in fostering understanding and peace. I'm outraged by his article. I think he's, he's, a, he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. He's got anti-American rhetoric all over it, and now he's trying to act like Mr. Peacemaker. Well, I don't buy it. But advocates for the mosque say Rauf is right on the mark. He made a clear call for justice and... Uh, and for religious freedom. This is a basic, simple issue of religious freedom and should not even be a question in the 21st century. Meantime, both sides of the mosque issue are gearing up for Saturday. Thousands are expected to march on the ninth anniversary of the attacks on America, and police are gearing up too. We have no reason to anticipate violence at these demonstrations, but obviously there's a potential at any demonstration. A demonstration over a mosque that so many find to be controversial. Getting back to the mosque, the imam also writes that he wants to seize upon the opportunity to hear relations and that this is an opportunity we can't let go by. He also, he makes reference to the financing. So much interest in who the money men are. He says that will be determined and released when it's appropriate. We're live tonight at Ground Zero. Sean Hennessy, CBS 2 News. Sean, thank you. A new 9-11 controversy is sparking worldwide outrage. A Florida pastor refuses to back down from his plan to burn copies of the Koran to mark the September 11th anniversary. Anniversary. Gainesville Pastor Terry Jones says it's an appropriate way for his congregations to remember the terror attacks. But Mayor Bloomberg stood behind the pastor's right to do whatever he wants on 9-11. The First Amendment protects everybody. And you can't say that we're going to apply the First Amendment to only those cases where we are in agreement. We realize that this action would probably offend Muslims, uh, just like I am offended when they burn the Bible or they burn the American flag. The top American military man in Afghanistan, General David Petraeus, says he's worried the move could generate attacks on American soldiers. A Long Island man who says that he was just trying to protect his family ends up in jail. Police say it was what George Greyer did that went way too far. The Uniondale man says that he had to use his AK-47 rifle to stop what he believed to be an oncoming invasion of his home by members of the vicious MS-13 gang. Greyer recounted one of the suspected gang members chilling through threats we kill your you know your family your babies your dead so when he says that 20 other guys come rushing around the corner and so I fired uh, four warning shots into the grass Greyer was arrested on reckless endangerment and weapons possession charges. He was released on $10,000 bond after his arraignment yesterday. For decades, 7th and 8th graders on Staten Island have been the exception to the citywide rule. They've been allowed to ride yellow buses to school, but as of the first day of school tomorrow, that free ride is over because of budget cuts. CBS 2's Rob Morrison reports. We need our buses now! We need our buses now! 
outrage spilled past the gates of IS-74. School bus service has been canceled for all 7th and 8th graders on Staten Island, leaving about 3,000 students in need of another way to get to class. How are you going to get to school tomorrow? Uh, I'm not sure, as a matter of fact. How are you getting to school tomorrow? I don't know. I guess I'm going to walk or get there somehow. The city says cutting the bus service will save more than $3 million. Money the Department of Education believes can be better spent on students elsewhere. But opponents of the new policy say the city shouldn't put a price tag on safety. This was so arbitrary. It was, here's how we can save $3.4 million. Don't worry about the kids. They'll find a way to get to school. These parents say because of Staten Island's busy traffic and limited infrastructure, walking to school is too dangerous in most neighborhoods. Take, for example, this spot on Arthur Kill Road where the sidewalk simply ends. Any student walking to school from here would have to step out into oncoming traffic, a situation that would be even more dangerous during winter weather. This is an accident waiting to happen, and every parent on this island knows it. Students who live more than a mile and a half from school will be eligible for discounted public transportation like other parts of the city. Parents aren't thrilled about that option either. It's going to be hard because she's going to be by herself. She's never done it by herself before. This matter will soon be settled in court. But for now, it's just one ride to school at a time. On Staten Island, Rob Morrison, CBS 2 News. A court hearing on the case is scheduled for Monday. Parts of Brooklyn and Queens are also affected. Some tough talk from the governor of New Jersey as he hit the road for a series of town hall meetings. Today, Chris Christie pushed for a series of initiatives, including education reform, that he wants the legislature to vote on before Christmas. Among the ideas, pay for teachers based on their performance. The governor also lashed out at the teachers' union once again for not agreeing to wage free freezes. The union's response was that this was the greatest assault on public education in the history of the state because I asked them to take a pay freeze. And, you know, it's that kind of stupid stuff that they say that gives them no credibility with the public. Governor Christie also wants legislators to disclose their personal financial statements like he has, saying elected politicians should not hold more than one government job. The former JetBlue flight attendant who slid into the spotlight and or may not land in jail, I should say. Stephen Slater made headlines when he quit his job with the floors by going on a profanity-laced tirade at JFK Airport last month. He's charged with reckless endangerment and criminal mischief for deploying the plane's emergency exit chute and using it to escape the jet. His attorney is seeking a plea deal that would keep him out of prison. We hope to continue those discussions to favorably resolve this matter for Mr. Slater. He'd like to move on with his life. Beyond uh, stress-related uh, uh, and mental health issues, it could go to alcohol, substance abuse. A plea deal could also include community service and anger management counseling. Coming up, tragedy in Terrytown. Two men fall to their deaths down a manhole. That fatal mistake could have been prevented. Then a shakeup in your morning pick-me-up. The change in coffee prices that could soon set you back. Plus this. It's a fashion show unlike anything you've ever seen. Celebrities, models, designers will have all the highlights coming up. Looking for a job? Recent numbers show New York's the place to land one. And CBS2 knows exactly what companies are looking for you. 86,000 openings, so many fields to choose from, even six-figure salaries. And we know just how you can score one just ahead. The Range Rover Sport. Powered by intelligence. She took on the big banks and passed landmark credit card reform to stop abuse and protect consumers. A tireless advocate for women and families, she's delivered Medicare coverage for annual mammograms, cracked down on domestic violence, and increased aid for college. And in tough times, she championed the Second Avenue subway and Queens Connector that will create thousands of good jobs for New Yorkers. Carolyn Maloney, nobody's congresswoman but yours. I'm Carolyn Maloney, and I approve this message. Winner of the highest predicted residual value rating in its class, five years in a row. The 2010 Range Rover Sport. Powered by Intelligence. Stay tuned for the U.S. Open Tennis Highlights Show, presented by American Express. 
Supermodels put their best stilettos forward. Fashion's biggest names came together on one stage to kick off this year's Fashion Night Out in Manhattan. Hundreds of guests gathered up on the Upper West Side tonight. It's all for the biggest and pub boldest public fashion show ever staged in New York City. CBS News' Hazel Sanchez was at the show at Lincoln Center. It's a fashion spectacle unlike anything anyone has ever seen. 170 of the world's top models, including Giselle Bündchen and Naomi Campbell, showcasing fall's hottest trends in the middle of Lincoln Center, Fashion Week's new home. We really wanted to bring fashion to the customer in the best way that we possibly could. I, I, the Fashion Week is very much for the industry and for the insiders, and this was really to open up fashion to everybody. Celebrities like Julianne Moore, Serena Williams, and Lauren Hutton came to see The Show, a kickoff to Fashion's Night Out. It's a production by fashion icon Anna Wintour, editor-in-chief of Vogue magazine. Wintour enlisted the industry's elite designers, Diane von Furstenberg, Tommy Hilfiger, Vera Wang, Donna Karen, and many more to contribute pieces from their collections. The luxurious fabrics, great color, uh, a lot of camel, uh, great boots. Autumn styles range from slick rocker chic to down-to-earth heavy textured plaid, classic jazz throwback, and layered furs and shearling. And it's a night of firsts. Not only is it the first time Fashion Week is here at Lincoln Center, it's also the first time you won't have to wait to get the great designs you see here tonight. Fashion Week is really trade week, but those clothes, you can only, you have to wait eight, six months. The clothes tonight, you can go in the shops and buy now. I believe the customer should be seeing the clothes in season. Some clothes may be a little hair raising, but chances are you can find something to suit your style. At Lincoln Center, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Fashion Design Out takes place in stores throughout New York City this Friday night. Crazy, it's happening right in front of Lincoln Center. Not bad great stage, <laughs> great stage. Right after this break, an iconic symbol of the World Trade Center returns to its rightful place. A plus, the Big Apple with big openings on the job market front. 86,000 jobs waiting for you coming up. How you can score one. Tonight. Let me just ask you this. Okay. Yes or no? Dave's all new with Katie Holmes. Plus, Ellen DeGeneres has the top 10 things that have been on her mind lately. I never should have let Paris Hilton hold my purse. And from Pawn Stars, it's Rick Harrison. Don't miss it tonight. Then stay up for Craig. My me time is when I thought I parked in level two, or maybe eight. My me time is when there's a 10% chance of rain. My me time is when he doesn't get the hint. My me time is when everybody's taking shots at me. Discover you time anytime. McCafe your day with the McDonald's frappe. Smooth and icy caramel or mocha blended just for you and topped with a decadent drizzle. Me time! The simple joy of a frappe. When you want the largest display and selection of appliances, nobody beats PC Richard & Son. When you want the best advice from an award-winning sales team, nobody beats PC Richard & Son. When you want next-day delivery, professional installations, and state-of-the-art appliance service, nobody beats PC Richard & Son. When you want 100 years of honesty, integrity, and reliability, and the lowest prices guaranteed, PC Richard & Son. Family-owned and operated for over 100 years. Why buy anywhere else? Over a thousand people a day switch to Chevrolet. Let's find out why. Smell this sharp. Has great mileage and offers OnStar. 100,000 mile powertrain warranty got my attention. It's the Chevrolet summer event, which means the only thing left to decide is who drives it home. Me. Her. Me. Qualified lessees now get a low mileage lease on this Malibu LS, a Consumer's Digest Best Buy for around $199 a month. Call for details. The switch begins at ChevyDealer.com. We obey the laws and pay our taxes. What we expect in return isn't asking too much. Reliable services, honesty from public servants. But we all know that's not happening in New York. We all pay for corruption in Albany with higher property taxes and substandard services. I'm Kathleen Rice, and I'll work to expand the Attorney General's power to investigate government corruption and fraud. And if you cheat the taxpayers of New York, you should go to prison. Join the fight. Register at CBSNewYork.com. 
Other stories making news tonight. Investigators are checking if two volunteer Tarrytown firefighters failed to follow safety rules. John Kelly and Anthony Ruggiero died last night when they were overcome by toxic fumes in a manhole. Now, it appears Kelly wasn't wearing a breathing apparatus when he attempted to rescue Ruggiero. Practicing Terror just released video shows the alleged mastermind of a plot to bomb synagogues and shoot down military planes. The tape was played in the federal trial of James Cromartie and three others. Prosecutors say a paid FBI informant gave Cromartie a crash course in how to use a missile launcher. And workers at Ground Zero raised two steel columns at the site of the September 11th Museum. The columns, known as Tridents, were taken from the rubble of the North Tower after the attacks and stored at Kennedy Airport until now. Not a somber anniversary, yes. just days away now. Let's look at your forecast as this work week progress progresses. Lonnie Quinn standing by with an update on how our Wednesday is shaping up. Yeah, and it's sort of a work week slash school week mm, for a lot sure of kids is. out there. Yeah, I know. The, bear, the bearer of wonderful <laughs> news here. Yes. Kids would say it's a work week. <laughs> Let me get you outside. Live picture right over my shoulder, right here in New York City. The exact address, 42nd and 6th Avenue. All right, a bunch of cabs out there, a little traffic in the streets as well. The sky's overhead, holding on to a 77-degree reading right now, partly cloudy. The dew point is way up there at 67 degrees. By the time you get to tomorrow afternoon, that dew point is going to plummet down into the 50s. But the weather picture, stacking up like this. It was a summer-like feel to the first day of school for a lot of the kids out there. Tomorrow ends up being the transition day, and it's going to end up feeling like fall by the time you get to the end of this work week or partial school week, whatever you want to call it. 89 was the high temperature, so this is what I'm talking about 89 degrees you're knocking on the door of 90 you should normally max out at 78 degrees all right well you are 11 degrees above that 224 in the afternoon the warmest time of your day 70s right now throughout the area and it's basically it's the mid 70s for everybody except spion comes in as my cool spot 69 degrees for you and you're gonna find the clouds yeah they're out there don't really see any precipitation except <laughs> Look what I'm seeing up there. You can only pull that down for you. you take a little look. Look at these strong storms that are now pushing into Syracuse. The bigger picture is going to give you an idea of what we're dealing with. There's that cold front. Yes, this cold front is going to be pushing through our area during your overnight and morning hours. However, wait till you see how the computer models are handling it. All right, here's that front as of about midnight, and watch it just dissolve. Partly sunny skies by the afternoon. Tomorrow looks pretty good. I just don't see a lot of rain coming out of this thing. Maybe a little bit during your morning hours, but all in all, there's your front. It pushes through. You're going to tap into a partly sunny day tomorrow. One of the differences is going to be the breezes will be blowing out there. Now we'll have dry conditions in the afternoon. You tack on those breezes. You have a red flag warning from Ocean County through Monmouth, Middlesex, Somerset, and Hunterdon until 7 p.m. tomorrow. But now I want to start talking about our next, our next rain chance, which would be Sunday. And it's running right now at around 30%. Right now, as that rain is hanging out around Portland, Oregon, we're going to watch that push into our area. It looks like on Sunday. So for the race for the cure, it's mostly cloudy with a chance for a shower. Join us Sunday, 9 a.m., Central Park West and 77th. That's where we're going to be gathering. Looks like it's going to have a slight shower chance, not enough to rain out anything. The five-day forecast will show you the cooler air that filters in here on Thursday. 75, you're maxing out there. And then on Friday, 77, Saturday, 79. Notice the 79 degree reading on Saturday. Beautiful sunshine overhead. You're 80 degrees on Sunday. Again, there's that 30% rain chance. And then Monday, we're going to keep you at the 80 degree mark as well. Just a quick little update on tropical storm Hermine. Mm -hmm. Now a tropical depression, just like we thought. That okay. one sort of faded away as it pushed through Texas. And just a little reminder for you, Sunday, you got a big football game, Giants, and then you've got the Jets on Monday. So let's keep an eye on those. And <laughs> Yes. Priorities, priorities. <laughs> Thank you, Lonnie. Thank you, Lonnie. You got it, guys. Even as the rest of the country struggles with unemployment, New York is leading the country in job growth. So which companies are hiring? What kind of jobs are available and how much are they paying? We've got the answers, plus the one thing that will make you stand out so that you can land that dream job. From the restaurant industry to retail construction, even law. Whatever the field, if you need a new job, local companies are beginning to hire again. New York right now is leading the country nationally in terms of job creation. Finally, some good news, say job seekers. I'm just looking for a fresh start. And according to the New York State Department of Labor, it is easier than ever to find one of these jobs. Their website currently lists more than 86,000 new positions up for grabs in our area. The whole host from um, service uh, 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 jobs or, or administrative positions, uh, construction uh, jobs or jobs in the hotel uh, industry, you know, different sectors here in New York City. Jobs that also vary in salary. The salary for this particular position is $50,000. It's a full-time job. 
and the category is listed as a legal administrative assistant. From minimum wage to more than six figures, we also found listings at many major companies like this recruiting position for McGraw-Hill and this managerial post at Ernst & Young, plus countless jobs available in the fields of beauty and health care. Well, you can access this anywhere, so if you don't have a computer at home, you can go to the library. You can also visit one of the Department of Labor's unemployment locations known as one-stop centers where you can work with one of their many career counselors. At the moment, you do you feel comfortable on the internet, though, yeah, to look absolutely. for work. You this is Antonio De Silva's first visit after losing his job in hotel management a month ago. Economy is picking up, I would, I would uh, presume, and uh, I feel very confident in my, of my abilities. Despite being out of work for about a year, this woman is also feeling optimistic about finding a new clerical position sooner than later. Yeah, I stay positive. One thing that might give both an edge over the competition is presenting this form to a prospective employer at the end of an interview. The employer will receive a 6.2% payroll tax cut hiring that person. In addition, if the employer keeps the person for a year or more, they get an additional $1,000 tax credit. So for the full set of job listings from the Labor Department, just head to our website, cbsnewyork.com, click on links and numbers. Good luck. Yes, without a doubt. Still ahead, uh, who's really flocking to Facebook? Why a new study says it's all about stroking your ego. This one's interesting. Plus, that next Point cup of, of Joe could be a real eye-opener, even before you take your first sip. Find out why. And then coming up in sports, can Venus Williams keep American hopes alive at the U.S. Open? You know your body ages, so does your skin. But your hair, too? Getting drier as I'm getting older. So stop the clock, no matter how old you are, with simple treatments. From your diet to home remedies. CBS 2 with How To Age Proof Your Locks. Tomorrow at 11. Sleepy's Labor Day mattress sale is going on now. Get a Sealy Posturepedic, Serta Perfect Sleeper, or Simmons Beauty Rest queen size mattress for $2.99. Plus, get Sleepy's incredible doorbuster bonuses. Get two free travel pillows, a free sheet set, a free Insert a sheet or free snap camcorder. Absolutely free with select models. Plus, finance your purchase for up to five full years during Sleepy's extended Labor Day holiday mattress sale. Going on now, only at Sleepy's. The mattress professionals. Hey, let me see that map for a second. Just drive, we'll get there. Goodbye. Adventure runs on Dunkin' with our lineup of oven-toasted breakfast sandwiches. From egg white flatbreads to bagel sandwiches, grab your favorite just the way you like it. America runs on Dunkin'. Hurry into Dunkin' Donuts for a delicious veggie or turkey sausage egg white sandwich. Still ahead, pay the price or give up the vice. The coffee news that could give your wallet a jolt. And then after the news on The Late Show, Dave's guests tonight, Katie Holmes and Rick Harrison. This is unlike any car you've ever seen before. This is power with efficiency. This is an interior that exceeds even the promise of the exterior. This is the all-new Jaguar XJ, the stunning result of taking a very different road. Every 2011 Jaguar includes best-in-class Jaguar Platinum coverage with complimentary scheduled maintenance and no-cost replacement of wear and tear items. The job is attorney general. It's not enough to be on the right side. It's about having the right stuff. You need somebody who will protect you and your families. I did that as a naval officer and a federal prosecutor. You need somebody who will make sure corporations play fair. I took on Wall Street giants they said couldn't be beaten and made them pay back billions to the people they'd hurt. And you need somebody with the independence and the guts to clean up Albany. I'm the only candidate who doesn't owe a thing to anybody except you. It's time to wake up Albany. It's time for coffee. A jolt for Java Junkies. Global coffee prices have spiked to a 12-year high. The maker of Folgers and Dunkin' Donuts coffee has already raised the price by 9%. Many deli owners say they're already feeling the pinch and may have to pass that cost on to customers. Poor crops in some regions and stockpiling plans by leading coffee-producing countries are being blamed for the hike. Well, it's not about your countless friends or your likes or dislikes. If you're logging on to Facebook, researchers say it's all about you. A study from Canada's York University finds that those who spend the most time on Facebook are either narcissists or people with low self-esteem. And no matter how much of an ego boost users need, <laughs> the study found that overall, users log on to the site for self-promotion. <laughs> 
Go I'm just gonna say. Here. I'm just gonna say this. I'm gonna say Anybody this right know? now. One out of fifty. Every fifteen people in this entire world are on Facebook. And one out of every fifteen people is his friend. <laughs> <laughs> so why do we log on? Why do we log on? Hey, my self promotion has just, made you a lot more popular it. too. <laughs> just just the best tease we yes. ever had. They saw this one coming up all week. All right, coming up in sports, an incredible match winning shot at the U.S. Open. Also, CC Sabathia goes for a milestone at the stadium tonight. We will tell you how he did right after this. Learn more about the rising stars of tennis. Nextcontenders.com, presented by American Express. I'm Ahmed Maddy, and I'm a home builder. My father brought me up to give back to society. Felicia Jackson promised her late sister that she would take care of her children, but she needed help. I used my American Express open card to get half a million points to buy building materials to help build the Jackson family a new home. Well, I know if my dad was still around, he would have told me, with no doubt. He would have told me it's a no-brainer, and I knew that from the start. It was an honor. Booming is moving forward by giving back. I was driving to Northern California. My son was asleep. I really didn't see it coming. I didn't realize I was drifting into the other lane. I was literally falling asleep at the wheel. It got my attention, telling me that I wasn't paying attention. The car hit the brakes faster than I could. I had no idea the guy in front of me had stopped short, but my car did. My car did. Thankfully, my Mercedes did. A world you can't predict demands a car you can trust. The E-Class, the best or nothing. That is what drives us. Aerodynamically advanced. Industry leading technology. Fuel efficient. Wrapped in comfort. As for power, zero to 500 before you even realize you're in the air. Only Continental flies the newest jet fleet. Sweet ride. Continental Airlines. Work hard. Fly right. Proud promotional partner of the 2010 U.S. Open Tennis Championships. Sip responsibly. The New York Times says Eric Schneiderman has courage. A strong voice. And a deep commitment to ethical government. The Times endorses Eric for Attorney General for repealing the Rockefeller drug laws. I couldn't have said it better myself. Wake up with CBS 2 News this morning for your top stories, traffic reports, weather forecast. Weekday morning starting at 4.30 a.m. Time for sports. Sam Ryan here with your CBS 2 WFAN sports updates. And we're winding down at the U.S. Open with half of the women's quarterfinal matches today, including third-seeded Venus Williams, the lone American facing Francesca Schiavone. And Schiavone, the French Open champ, gave Venus all she could handle in the first set that lasted over an hour. And Venus finally wins it in a tie break. Then the two-time U.S. Open champ closes it out in the second set, winning it 7-6, 6-4 to advance to the semifinals. As for the defending champ, Kim Kleister's face, Sam Stozer. She needed three sets to take out the fifth seeded Aussie. She finishes it off. The big serve. The number two seeded Kleisters advances to the semifinals. Six, four, five, seven, six, three. Well, there are no American men remaining at the open. Sam Query losing to Stan Vavarenka in a five setter today. And the top seeded Rafael Nadal leads fellow Spaniard Feliciano Lopez 3 1 in the first set. And our shot of the day coming on the final point of the David Ferrer Fernando Verdesco match. Unbelievable finish. That is one of the most unbelievable hook forehands on a match point you'll ever see. More than four hours it lasted. Verdasco winning at 5 7 6 7 6 3 6 3 7 6. A sigh of relief there. We will have the baseball story when we come back as CeCe goes for number 20 and Durrell goes back to work. The return of Revis on the practice field. Those stories and more when we come back. Today's shot of the day, sponsored locally by Mercedes Benz. In 2008, I quit venture capital to follow my passion for food. I saw a gap in the market for a fresh culinary brand and launched BehindTheBurner.com. We create and broadcast content and then distribute it across TV, the web, and via mobile. I even used the web to get paid. 
With Accept Pay from American Express Open, we now invoice advertisers and receive payments digitally. And they get paid on average three weeks faster. Booming is never looking for a check in the mail because it's already in my email. Three hundred and six horsepower, race-inspired paddle shifters, and F Sport Tune suspension. All available on the new 2011 Lexus IS. It isn't real performance unless it's wielded with precision. See your New York, New Jersey, Connecticut Lexus dealer. My favorite Benjamin Moore product is Aura. It is the easiest paint, it is the best quality paint, and when you're trying to be the best in the industry, Benjamin Moore gives you the paint to do that. Experience richer colors and a more durable finish with eco-friendly Benjamin Moore Aura. Quite simply, the finest paint we've ever made. And it's only available at your Benjamin Moore retailer, not at the big box stores. Visit BenjaminMoore.com to find a retailer near you. Hey, did you know that in the race for Attorney General, there's only one Democrat who's actually served as Assistant AG? Only Eric Danalo. Danalo's prosecuted corruption and violence, so we know he's not going to back down to Albany or the NRA. And as Spitzer's deputy, it was Danalo who led the fight to hold Wall Street accountable before it was cool. And only Danalo took on big insurance and got health care for 400,000 New Yorkers. That's why the Daily News is endorsing Danalo as the only one with the right experience for the job. For AG, go with Danalo. They lead different lives. I don't like vegetables. I'm late. I'm done on pizza. Sorry, I'm late. Hard night. But these two Vegas lawyers. Would you look at that, Nikki? We're huge. Yeah, we're big time, baby. Have one thing in common. You had your wife, Pablo. She's cheating on me, Pete. You got a hug, Nick. That's it. Look at the hand. No, she's arresting him. It's like, what do you mean, bro? They've always got each other's back. Hey! This is a $200 shirt. The Defenders. Woo! Premier September 22nd, only CBS. Revis Island is back on the mainland after missing all of training camp. Newly inked Daryl Revis was back to work today with the Jets. The star cornerback returning to the practice field, focusing mostly on his conditioning today. This coming less than 24 hours after signing his new four-year, $46 million contract. As for team prepares for Monday night season opener against the Ravens, and Darrell thinks they might challenge him right away. I think so. Um, you know, I haven't. Uh, you know, been in training camp, so I'm sure that's in their game plan, and um, um, I'll be uh, well prepared for it. I'm sure they're not going to shy away from him, but um, you know, I got confidence in him and the whole defense to, to get the job done. They're smarter than that. They're not coming after him. No way. No chance. Baseball, he's a Cy Young winner, a World Series champion, but CeCe Sabathia has never won 20 games in his career. The hefty lefty going for number 20 tonight is the Yanks hosting the O's, but the O's jump all over CeCe in the top of the first, up 1-0 already. Adam Jones ripping the shot to left, two runs score. Baltimore builds a 3-0 lead. Then in the third, Nolan Reimold driving one way out of there in left. CeCe giving up six runs, six and a third, left trailing 6-2. The Yanks threatened in this seven. Seventh A Rod's line drive ends up as a lucky force out for the O's. The Yanks have dropped three in a row, six to the final. CC's first loss at Yankee Stadium since last July. As for the Mets and the Nationals, Ike Davis giving him a quick lead. The three run bomb in the first is his 18th of the year, third in his last four games, three nothing Mets. And the second starting pitcher, Dylan G. Helping his pass. own cause. Singles in his first big league at bat. It plays Ruben Tejada for the 4 0 lead. And G also didn't allow a hit until the sixth inning and goes on to win in his big league debut. How about that? 4 1 the final. Mets' tragic number, though, is 12 because uh, the Phillies won. Lovely. Thank <laughs> you, Sam. Know. That's going to do it for us tonight. I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Chris Raggy. The Late Show coming up next. See you later. You've been watching CBS 2 News in high definition.